I believed for at least a month that I was dead. I was seeing things, things darting at my head, shadowy figures. I would see these full-fledged hallucinations. Hi, my name is Esme, and this is how I live with schizoaffective disorder. My parents were not the kind of people who would ask me to go seek help. I had to go and seek out myself. I knew that something was wrong with my mind or that something was wrong other than just classic teenage angst. I was diagnosed with clinical depression and anxiety pretty quickly at 15 or 16. About two or three years later, my symptoms started to change. I started having symptoms of mania. As a freshman in college, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I was um, involuntarily hospitalized. It was terrifying. A couple of years into my time at Stanford, I began to experience psychotic symptoms, hallucinations that would cause me to kind of duck or dodge. I would think that my loved ones were replaced by doubles. The scariest thing to me was the stuff that I couldn't cover up. I could just imagine the people all around me looking and thinking, what is wrong with that person? They look insane. I had an education in psychology. I really thought this might be schizoaffective disorder. You have your psychotic symptoms in between the mood episodes. I brought this up to my psychiatrist. She didn't want to kind of put that stigma of a different diagnosis onto me. So we kind of were in a holding pattern for about eight years. People don't really have an idea of what schizophrenia or the schizophrenias are. It's this idea of split mind or multiple personalities. I wrote the book The Collected Schizophrenias because I felt that so many of the books that currently exist are not written from the perspective of people who are actually living with the disorder. What I needed to hear when I was diagnosed were the voices of people like me. Listen to your gut feeling. Your gut feeling knows a lot more than you think and your gut feeling has your best interests at heart. Not only that, but you can survive this and you will survive this and a lot of good things will happen to you if you can just stick this out and keep going.